Hello and welcome to the Expo. Right, today I want to talk about the Premier League, particularly the place from clubs outside the traditional top six, even if Arsenal are clinging on for dear life. England's top flight has got some fantastic players belonging to the best of the rest clubs, but how good a team could you meet using exclusively players from outside of the top six? Well, using FIFA 21 ratings, I'm going to find out. My name's James and this is the best Premier League 11 outside the top six according to FIFA 21. In goal is Rui Patricio. The Premier League's got some incredible goalkeepers up and down the division, with pretty much every club having someone fairly adequate in between the sticks. We've got England's controversial number one Jordan Pickford and even Fulham have got a World Cup winner. Newcastle's Martin De Bravka's an 83 on FIFA 21 which makes him Newcastle's best player but doesn't get him into this 11. That's because he's eclipsed by 84 rated Kasper Schmeichel and Wolves' Rui Patricio but who do I go with? I mean you already know. But it's kind of just a flip of a coin as both stoppers are excellent in their own right. But I'll go with Patricio just to make sure this team isn't completely made up of Leicester players because they're basically part of the proper top six now aren't they? Forget about Arsenal. Right back is Ricardo Pereira. See what I mean about the Leicester thing? Well with Kasper Schmeichel narrowly missing out we've got our first fox here with Ricardo Pereira. Now he's been injured for a long time but FIFA 21 still recognised him as not only one of the best players outside the top six but in the entire division. Pereira is an 85 rating which makes him the second best player in this team and it's a frightening thought that Leicester have been doing so well even without him being fit. Good times to come for Leicester and Pereira's nearest challenge in this team was his fellow countryman Nelson Semedo whose Barcelona reputation has seen him get an 83. Centre back is Kaglas Ayunchu. Ok ok I promise this is the last Leicester player for a while even though I could easily have picked Johnny Evans to partner Lord Farquhar. Centre back looks to be the weak spot in this non top 6 11 as there's no player who's got higher than a rating of 80. The best of the lot is Kaglossi and Chu, the young Turkish defender who FIFA believe can reach an 85. I mean he was sensational last season, proving Leicester already had a replacement for Harry Maguire even before they'd sold him. And to be honest he's been much more impressive than the Man United skipper. And he's managed to keep out of trouble when he was on holiday. So well done Soyeon Chu, you're a very good defender and an all round good boy, I imagine. Next up is James Tarkovsky. Picking a partner for Soyeon Chu was difficult as there's a few players who joined the Leicester man on an 80 rating. There's the aforementioned Johnny Evans, the Wolves man Mountain Willy Bolly, even West Brom's Premier League veteran Bran Slavovanovic is an 80 rating and he's 36 years old. But the player I'm going to go with is Burnley's James Tarkovsky, the Claret's only representative in this team. Tarkovsky's an England international and an old school defender who takes no shit and his positioning is superb. He's a classic stopper whose first job is to defend, not on these fancy crowd turns and long range passes, just make sure you keep the ball out of your own net. So they're the two best centre backs outside the top six according to FIFA 21, but is that accurate? I know a lot of people, mainly Jamie Carragher, would argue that Connor Cody should be in there, or maybe even Brighton's young star Ben White. There's no real standout option and this highlights England's centre back problem, we've just got a load of average defenders really. Left back is Luca Dean. We've finally got our first Everton player and a man who some would argue is the best left back in the country not called Andy Robertson. Merseyside is home to the two top left backs in England and they're both similar and different at the same time. While Andy Robertson is a bit more rock and roll and plays at 100 miles per hour, Dean is a bit more measured and intricate. But the results are the same as both players eat and sleep assists. Set pieces are key for Dean and are a big reason why he's an 84 on FIFA 21 and miles ahead of any other left back from outside the traditional top six. On the right I've got James Rodriguez. When I was planning this video I was very worried that 82 rated James Rodriguez wasn't going to make it into this team but no the former Real Madrid superstar has done it and he's sitting on the right in midfield. It's perhaps not where he wants to be but beggars can't have a choice. To think he's gone from the World Cup golden boot winner to stuck on the right of midfield in a non top 6 video for a poxy YouTube channel. Oh how the mighty have fallen. But James, or James as he gets called on FIFA for no apparent reason, has lit the Premier League up since his arrival and proven he isn't over the hill yet after a Real Madrid nightmare. I think I might start calling myself James actually, sounds a bit more exotic, maybe I can tap in at the South American market. Sent midfield is Wilfred Ndidi. Back to the Leicester players, but it's absolutely no surprise that Wilfred Ndidi is in the middle of the park here. The Nigerian is one of the most complete midfielders in the Premier League and could probably play for any club in the division. I mean even Liverpool and Man City could find a place for the 84 rated Nigerian. Obviously he's primarily a defensive player but it's not like he's useless in possession. He's box to box and the man knows how to spray a pass or find the net. Again just like Pereira it's mad to say Leicester doing so well despite missing so many key players and indeed he is one of them. 
a machine in real life and a fantastic player to sign on FIFA with potential to reach 88. He's alongside Alan. It was a toss up between Alan and Joe Martino and sorry Wolves fans but I've got to go with Alan. If any of you saw my Everton career more than barely anyone watched to be honest, Alan was a workhorse in the middle of the park and the 83 rated Brazilian could tackle anyone and anything. From Lionel Messi to Bigfoot to World Peace, Alan could tackle it and with the way the new FIFA is, you need people who are strong in the challenge which is why Alan partners Wilfred and Didi. I mean that's a very strong midfield duo, not much is getting through that and fortunately there's attack and talent elsewhere to get the goals. 82 rated Ruben Neves is a player who narrowly misses out as well and if he'd been an 83, I'd have picked him, if only for the long range screamers. On the left is Wilfried Zaha. For a long time he's been heralded as the best player outside the top 6 and for a long time he's been tipped to join a team in it. But the year is 2020, it's nearly 2021 and Wilfried Zaha is still a Crystal Palace player. The supersized fish in a miniature pond is an 83 on FIFA 21 which ensures he starts on the left of this team and also ensures that Jack Grealish misses out. I mean there's some big names who haven't got in this team but the fact that FIFA 21 ratings dictate that there's no place for Villa Talisman Jack Grealish is boring on criminal. He's the new Gaza man FIFA, have you not been reading Twitter? Up top is Raul Jimenez. On to the front two we go and we start off with a man who is in all of our thoughts right now. Raul Jimenez was involved in a sickening incident against Arsenal not too long ago where he crashed heads with David Luiz from a corner and was stretched off with a fractured skull. Fortunately Jimenez is apparently making an excellent progress following surgery and I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him a speedy recovery. But despite the injury Jimenez still gets in the team with his 84 rating and it's no shock that he's got it, he's one of the most complete centre forwards in the Premier League, he can literally do it all and has exceeded all expectations at Molyneux and Wolves will be a worse team without him during his absence. Jimenez gets in this team ahead of some big names, notably Danny Ings and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Should one of them be in instead of the Mexican? I mean they've got lower ratings than Sebastian Haller, what's that about? Or what about someone else? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And rounding out the 11 is Jamie Vardy. We end things with our fourth Leicester City player and the best player in the team to be honest, both in terms of FIFA ratings and just cold hard facts. Jamie Vardy is an 86 on FIFA 21 which makes him one of the best strikers around and it's well deserved after years of tearing the Premier League up despite his ageing body. Vardy defies belief at times and won the golden boot last season with 23 Premier League goals for the Foxes. He's bang at it again this season and leads the line for what is a fantastic team of players outside the traditional top 6. Maybe we should have just ignored Leicester to be honest, they're on the brink of turning things into a top 7. So there we have it, that's the best Premier League 11 outside the top 6 according to FIFA 21 ratings. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. You can follow me on Twitter, I'm at HITCJames. But until next time we will see you around.